Everyone, please rise as we welcome in the graduating class of 2019. you to please remain standing and gentlemen remove your caps graduates you can keep your caps on uh, we are going to play the national anthem flag is directed over here coming to honor these students that have worked hard to complete their high school diploma requirements or who have earned high school equivalency through Asher School. As we welcome all of our esteemed guests tonight's ceremony, there are a few I would like to recognize for all their support for our many Asher School programs. The superintendent of Southgate Schools, Jill Pastor, is here. School Board Vice President Timothy Estermeyer is here. And School Board Trustee Andrew Green is here. We have the Director of Asher School, Kendall McVicker. The Adult Education Coordinator, Sarah Brooks. and the Asher School Counselor, Melba Clark. And let's also recognize that our graduates did not arrive at this point alone. There have been many who have supported them on this journey, and we would like to acknowledge that support with a round of applause. Southgate Asher has always been a place for students who needed another chance to find academic success. Each student comes to Asher with his or her, her own individual needs. Students quickly realize that Asher offers a different experience. Asher is a place where students and staff have a shared goal of finding success. Success here is diverse, taking on a different meaning for each individual. And each of these graduates have taken a different path in finding their success. 
Some students came to Asher and needed just a couple classes to complete their diploma requirements or brush up on one subject or another to prepare them for the high school equivalency test. And they found that Asher would work with them and their busy schedules to offer them the ability to finish quickly. There are other graduates out there that came to us with very few credits earned or maybe no high school experience at all. They found that Asher staff does not judge them for their deficits, but identifies them as areas for improvement. These students may spend many semesters walking our halls, but as long as they are willing to put the effort into their schooling, the staff is willing to help them build up their skills so they are able to find their success. There are another handful of you that were not ready to take your education seriously when we first met. That's okay. Sometimes students are not ready to make the decision that they are going to be successful. Some schools may punish or cut ties with students like that. Let's be honest, most schools would punish and cut ties with students like that. Asher knows that a large portion of our population has been unsuccessful in their past. And it is foolish to think that they are just going to flip on the good student switch when we find them. Sometimes these students need to do a little growing up. Sometimes they need to change their personal situations and sometimes they just aren't ready. But Asher will be waiting for them to make that realization that finishing high school, either through the diploma track or the GED track, is important to them. And when they make that realization, the Asher staff will welcome them with open arms and offer them whatever support they need to be successful. One of those successful students that only needed one semester to complete his diploma requirements is Deshaun Long. In his semester with us, he has quickly come to embody all aspects of Asher pride. He came to Asher humbly seeking to finish his high school requirements. He quickly made Asher his home by developing friendships and demonstrating a quiet leadership through his academic progress. He was slightly less quiet during the basketball games at lunch, but he still let his game do most of the talk. He always demonstrated respect and personal responsibility. Please join me in welcoming Deshaun Long. Good evening, respected family, staff members, friends, and fellow graduates. I'm extremely honored to be here representing the graduating class of 2019. And on behalf of Asher High School graduates, we thank you for joining us on this special day. Graduation is something we have all been looking forward to despite some of the obstacles we have faced or that was put in front of us. A few that I faced were transferring to different schools to find the right fit for me, falling behind in multiple classes, and catching two buses in the early morning, different weathers, not knowing if I would arrive to school on time. Others may have full-time jobs, family, or just don't have the support that some need. I often feared that I would never graduate and even thought about giving up, but once I made the choice to attend Asher, the support that they showed me showed that anything is possible. And I wanted to give my family thanks for their support and being with me through this tough journey. And leaving here today, we know that this is the beginning of bright futures and successful opportunities. And just like my teachers and family paved the way for me, I would like to pass my knowledge down to my younger brothers. So I leave with you today, my fellow graduate. Start each day believing in your dreams and know without a doubt that you were made for great things. We did it. One of those successful students that needed multiple semesters to find her foothold to complete her diploma requirements is Crystal Gorecki. She has attempted to complete her education many times and in many ways, but something always seemed to get in the way. This fiance, mother, employee, and student has overcame many obstacles on her journey to graduation 
despite many moments when quitting would have been easier. She has demonstrated determination with grace and style, and her nail game is always on point. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Crystal Gorecki. My name is Crystal Gorecki, and I'm honored to be speaking for the class of 2019. If I could choose... <laughs> If I could choose what this class embodies for me, it would be determination. There have been many obstacles that reach us as of us has had to work over to overcome. There have been many times that each of us had considered giving up, but we have each continued to perceive despite the obstacles. This is the greatest skill that we take with us as we graduate. The determination to continue working despite any obstacles to achieve the goals we set for ourselves. When I began my journey to earn my high school diploma at Asher, I expected it would be take a lot of hard work and determination. What I didn't expect were the many twists and turns this journey would take me on, or the supports I would find helping me along the way. I had been out of high school for a long time and I knew I had forgotten more than I remembered and that I would need patient teachers to guide me. Many around me encouraged me to complete my GED, but have been unsuccessful twice. I knew it wasn't what was best for me. My counselor advised me that it would likely take me three years to earn my diploma. I knew that I needed that diploma, so I enrolled in my first semester of classes. Returning to school was hard. I had more than just school on my mind. In addition to taking classes full time, I was working mother of two and managing our household. During my first semester, I experienced an unexpected surgery. If that wasn't enough, me and my fiance purchased a home and began the process of moving. I wanted to give up, but I couldn't. My children were watching. I continued to work on my classes towards the end of my first semester. I discovered that I was pregnant. I was, I was excited at all of the positives. You do it. I was experiencing success in school, a new home, and now a new baby. Though I didn't know what was happening at the time, as I sat taking my first set of exams, I was suffering a miscarriage. A visit to the hospital confirmed that I had lost my baby and I was heartbroken. I was devastated and wanted to give up, but I couldn't. My children were watching. I doubted that I would be able to complete my education but my fiance refused to let me give up on my dream that easily. So I enrolled in another another semester classes. I was determined. I would wake up at 7.30 each morning to get my children ready for off to school. Then I would head off to school myself. After our school days ended, I would pick up my children, cook dinner, clean the house, and help them with their homework and get everyone showered and into bed so I could begin my homework. I would work many nights until 2 and 3 in the morning on my homework, knowing that I would begin our daily routine again in just a few hours. I was tired and I wanted to give up, but I couldn't. I knew my children were watching. I was working fearlessly at this pace when I discovered that I was pregnant again. During the early part of my pregnancy, I was extremely sick and I, wanted, and I couldn't manage to stay awake. I was truly exhausted, but my teachers worked with me and helped me through my classes. After a year and a half of fear, fearish work, I completed my last semester, my last final exam on December 20th, 2018. I am extremely grateful for every staff member at Asher, my amazing teachers, family, friends, my children, and my fiance who all supported me throughout my journey. I stand here today because I chose not to give up. I stand here today because I had a strong support system. 
that I didn't always expect helping me along the way. I am proud to stand here today as a high school graduate with my three children watching. Good evening. Sorry, I had to, I put my paper under my chair and I had to do something weird to get it. My name is Sarah Brooks and I'm going to talk about our second name that we have and it is Southgate Adult and Community Education. This part of our school is devoted to English as a Second Language, Adult Basic Education, High School, completion, high school Equivalency, which was previously called GED and high school completion. All these different areas help adults improve their skills and gain a credential which can improve and enrich their lives. The program began with helping adults attain skills necessary to change their lives. Southgate has always been devoted to encouraging adults to continue striving for higher skills attainment. As we saw different needs develop in the Downriver area, we began to offer more high school completion and high school equivalency classes. English as a second language classes were added because we saw that the immigrant population in Downriver was growing. Now we offer all these types of classes, mornings, afternoons, and evenings. My next job tonight is to introduce our new director and it's my pleasure to do so. Kendall McVicker is our new director. She has brought uh, a vitality and an energy to our program, and it is my privilege to introduce her. Thank you. Graduation day is my favorite day. It's because it's a day that I am able to reflect on the past year and feel inspired for the next years to come. You all, our graduates sitting out there, inspire me. Through your hard work, dedication, and commitment, I am inspired daily. Moments like these are moments you should continuously strive for in your life. Moments in life where you feel proud to be you. This moment, I am able to look out on a diverse group of people who made a goal, in this case, graduating, and did not give up until it was completed. A group of people who were able to make a commitment to themselves and persevered through everything life threw at them to accomplish their goal. A group of people who dedicated themselves to achieve something that I'm sure at times was difficult, exhausting, and seemed to be absolutely endless. Know that your sacrifice is rewarded today. Take in this moment, this evening. This is a moment where you should feel proud so proud that you are standing a little taller in your caps and gowns, and you all look wonderful, by the way. A moment where you should feel accomplished, so accomplished that hopefully you'll sleep a little easier tonight. A moment where you should feel grateful, grateful that you never gave up, grateful for the support of your family and friends, and grateful that you invested the time in yourself to become a better you. I encourage you to seek out moments like this, Make decisions that you, lead you to feeling the way you do tonight. It may not be easy to get to these moments, but we can agree that the way you feel right now makes everything you've done in the past year or years worth it. This is my first graduating class here at Asher and a proud moment for me, so I thank all of you. I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors and know that you always have a place at Asher and everyone here is rooting for you. I now have the honor to present students with the Director's Award. This award is given to students who have gone above and beyond in demonstrating the characteristics of Asher Pride. Asher Pride stands for personal responsibility, respect, integrity, determination, and empathy. These students will be honored now with cords to add to their graduation attire. Angel Carmona, Daniel Clare, Alexander Gardner, 
Crystal Gorecki, Deshaun Long, Emily Lukoski, Ryan Mackey, Linda Preston, Cole Reagan, and Frida Ware. To offer words of advice and wisdom to the graduating class, please welcome the superintendent of Southgate Schools, Jill Pastor. So good evening. First, let me say that I'm honored to serve as the superintendent for this fabulous district. I'm very proud to be standing here tonight in front of the Usher graduates and their family and loved ones. Thank you for choosing the Southgate Community School District. On behalf of the school board members that were able to join us, we are proud of you and we are looking forward to hearing great things. We are proud that you were able to set a goal to graduate with your diploma or high school equivalents. And tonight is a celebration of your dedication. The path that each of you took was not as simple as following the yellow brick road you may have faced many forks in the road or may have been the wrong way on a one-way street, but you are here because you found the path that worked for you. I would like to encourage you to be great people, to think before you speak, and especially think before you put anything into writing or post anything on social media. <laughs> people often don't remember what you did, but they remember how you made them feel. Be steady measured and well informed. Michelle Obama said how we explain that when someone is cruel or acts like a bully, you don't stoop to their level. No, our motto is when they go low, we go high. Knowing that everyone matters, advocate for others, listen and lean on each other, be a role model, be intentional. Congratulations and continue to make us proud. Thank you. Hey, I can see you now. All right. Now we'll be, we will begin the presentation of diplomas. I know that this is a big day in the life of these students and their families, but we ask you to be respectful in your cheers. Deshaun Cedric Long. Crystal Marie Gorecki. Emily Elizabeth Lukowski. Ryan Tyler Mackey. Danielle Lee Clear. Woo! 
Linda Sue Preston. Alexander Martin Gardner. Frida Ware. Angel Rose Carmona. Atreyu Draven Blair. Josephine Quest. Madison Marie Charest. Amelia Torres. Sergio Andreas Zamora. Christina Laura. Michaela Yvette Mullins. <laughs> Tyler Henrik. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Zukowski. <laughs> Jasmine Laura. Vincenzo Miguel Rodriguez. Amanda Haley Fitzpatrick. Yesenia Olvera. Jacob David Vasilev. <laughs> Annalicia Donna Jean Arias. <laughs> Nicholas Michael Reyes. Angela Torres. <laughs> Jessica Olshansky. <laughs> Ryan Michael Call. Haley Sierra Moreno. Nathan Michael Dean. Samantha Rose Niebush. James Edward Begley. Maria 
Salcido Angulo. Nicholas Cerise. Michaela Rose McCray. Amanda Rose Marie Deneau. Gage A. Abrams. Erwa Rios. Tyler Michael Pregler. Rebecca Wright. Catherine Elizabeth Tavalacci. <laughs> Devin Allen Bates. Would the graduates please rise and turn to face the audience? Superintendent Pastor and the Board of Education, I certify that the students standing before us have completed all requirements set forth by the Southgate Community Schools Board of Education and the State of Michigan to officially complete high school. Students, you have now earned the right to move your tassel from right to left, signifying that you are now a graduate. Family and friends, I present you the graduating class of 2019. <laughs> Guests, please remain seated until the graduates have exited the auditorium and enjoy celebrating with your recent graduates.